Will you be the death of me? Obviously, one of the, uh, the, the the key elements that made the first one so compelling was that real-time competition that you that you had with your friends. So obviously, the multiplayer is going to really ratchet that up. So, what, what's the key difference between actually having all of the uh, players on screen at, at one time? Well, we are going to have the like same sort of Trials HD leaderboard-based competition. Where you're challenging your friends, or you're competing globally on every track in the game and on tracks created by users in the new editor and with the new track sharing system we have. But yes, multiplayer experience versus racing somebody's ghost or trying to beat someone's time, it's very different because you're like four, up to four players side by side running at the same time. It's really competitive, it's really fast, you can do a whole lot of races in one sitting. It's a great get the mates over and have a few pints kind of game. What, what kind of tweaks and modifications have you made this time around? As you can see, we have an outdoor environment and we have curved driving lines, so we did change it. We had to work on the engine and tweak it a little bit. But we are using the same basic gameplay physics, exact same controls that you're used to. So everything that was perfect in Trials HD, we're not touching, we're not messing with that part. Obviously we're used to the quite industrial environments of the, of the first game. Have you really tried to go to town with a variety of environments this time around? Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the biggest things. Trials HD obviously was very much a dark warehouse. That kind of defined the game. Here, you can build dark warehouse type environments if you want to go back to the classic levels. We expect people to recreate some of the classic levels in the editor that comes with the game. But it's now totally outdoors. You see this 3D environment. We've built this rather large game world area. These aren't like faked backgrounds. It's kind of like an overhead map and you choose where to lay out the track across rivers, over mountains, in a forest, in a little town. We're gonna have about 10, 12 new mini games. Um, I don't think any of them are repeats from the original game. These are all new and they're all created in the same track editor that comes with the game, which is pretty amazing. And yes, the spectacular crashes at the end of every run. That's kind of a trials trademark that we're definitely keeping going in this game too. Fantastic. And um, even though I know you're not able to talk about a release day, I mean, how, how, how are you feeling about the game at this stage? Do you think you've, you've come a long way with it? It's really coming along. Uh, Microsoft's behind us 100%. It's going to be probably one of the biggest, most ambitious Xbox Live arcade games ever. So yeah, we're really happy and excited about it. Wow!